this is Dave Bazaar and this is the latest. Today I'm out in one of our orchards. Uh, I'm going to talk to you again about stink bug and leaf-footed plant bug damage. We've mentioned it before. It seems like it's quite a big year for it. Um, it's showing up in this field as it typically does. It's on the edge of an open field right next door. That seems to be where the insects will come moving in as well as brush piles, things like that. Not necessarily associated with that, but that's where we see our biggest damage. This tree got hammered fairly well. You see the damage as sap oozing from the various nuts. So some of those nuts are gonna get aborted and drop off, just like what we just saw there. We've got an area over here where there's quite a few fairly large nuts on the ground. So when you go in there and start opening up those sappy ooze that's coming out where the, an the uh, insect has stuck its proboscis in, um, you're going to start to see as you cut them open, the sting mark goes all the way in and hits the nut meat. So some of those nuts are going to abort. Some of them are going to stay on the tree. And we're going to start to see it when we harvest as what's called brown spot. That's uh, categorized as a serious defect, so it'll start to penalize you for it. This is a little late in the season to be treating. We're just finishing up our May sprays. If you have thrown in a pyrethroid into that May spray, not that I'm recommending anything, that's what you're knocking them down with. We can find occasionally the insect. They're kind of difficult to find. Uh, in this orchard, we found those nymphs, which are a little unusual. That's those instars as it's getting to be the mature bug, and you can see that it feeds on the nut all the way through there. So again, uh, hopefully your may spray included some control for that. We think you'll see it in higher series defect. Um, this has been Dave Bazaar, and that's the latest.